The iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are a big deal literally because they have larger displays at 6.3 inches and a whooping 6.9 inches. The latter is the largest display ever on an iPhone. But they are also a pretty big deal because of all the other upgrades Apple is packing into this year's Pro models. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max get a new A18 Pro chip that's designed from the ground up for Apple intelligence features and a new dedicated camera control button that's designed to make everything from zooming to changing focus depth easier. A new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera captures impressive macro shots and you can record cinematic slow motion video at 4K 120 FPS. Apple also promises longer battery life and better sustained performance along with more durable designs. I went hands on with both the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max and I came away impressed with the new designs and features. Both could make our best phone list but the camera control was a bit finicky. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max start at $999 US dollar and $1199 US dollar respectively and go on sale September 20. Pre-orders start Friday September 13. The iPhone 16 Pro starts with 128GB of storage and the iPhone 16 Pro Max has 256GB standard. You can get 256GB on the regular Pro for $100 more, 512GB for $1299 US dollar and 1TB for 1499 US dollar. The iPhone 16 Pro Max costs 1399 US dollar for 512GB and 1599 US dollar for 1TB. The most unique design feature of the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max is the camera control, a dedicated button that's recessed in the design on the right side of the phone. Don't worry, there is still an action button on the left if you want to customize short cards. The haptic camera control lets you launch the camera with a hard press and you can just start snapping photos with another press. From there, I could long press to start recording video. But things get really interesting when you swipe your finger along the edge of the bottom. You can swipe left and right to zoom in and out on your photos. And with a double soft press, you can toggle between various settings like depth, exposure and styles. It works, but I found the button a bit finicky and I had to swipe more than I like to go from one option to the next. Still, I could see myself using the camera control all the time to quick launch into the camera so I never miss a shot. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max both promises longer battery life than the previous models. We are talking 22 and 29 hours of streaming video respectively compared to 20 and 25 hours for the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. Apple says that this is due to various factors including the efficiency of the A18 Pro chip and larger batteries. The Galaxy S24 Ultra and Google Pixel 9 Pro XL both impressed in our battery testing so we'll have to see if the new iPhones make our best phone battery life list. Unfortunately, Apple is giving us the same 25W charging speeds which is a bummer given that the best Android phones offer faster charging. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max both look like solid upgrades, but the iPhone 16 Pro could be the better value. You get the same 5x telephoto zoom as the larger Pro Max in a smaller design and the screen is big enough where you might not have Max and Y. I personally prefer a larger screen and the longest battery life so I would probably go for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, but if you are on a tighter budget, go regular Pro, stay tuned for our full rated review.